My name is Tatiana Thomas, and I'm originally from uh, North Carolina. I moved here about six years ago. I went to school for fashion design and I decided I wanted to work in the fashion industry and so I came here. I no longer work in the fashion industry. I just didn't feel fulfilled. It wasn't purposeful. Um, for some people, they love it, it's great, but I just, it just wasn't for me. I don't even know where the transition happened. It was like this, she just had this art that she just appeared one day. Like she even said, she just one day started drawing and painting. I made my debut in 86 with a melody and a president's mix and I would stay on song and never refuse to miss. I think there's so many layers to following your dreams. I think you have to um, give yourself permission to follow your dreams and to um, give your friends and your family permission to hold you accountable. When they sweat the technique. I think for me as an artist, the most difficult thing about living here in New York is balance because there's always an event. There's always something you want to go to. There's always something you want to be a part of. Um, but then you also have to figure out your full-time job, your artistry, and then rest and recovery. It is difficult, but I think once you find your strength and your voice, and um, you understand like your power and what you bring to the table as a woman is it's awesome. I, I love the, I love being a black woman in the 21st century. 21st century lady, it's okay to come home. You don't have to do this on your own. So I started painting three years ago. I was in North Carolina and my grandmother uh, was ill and I needed a release and I decided to start painting. I never painted before and I loved it. This is the one I'm working on. But you remember the flower and how it like changed? I know, but this is, it's the same one as this one. It's the same girl. It's the same girl, I told Mel. Mel, she said the same thing. I love that I feel like most of the women have sort of a mystery to them. The hair, the eyes, I love that they're all women of color. And I wouldn't even bother to fathom what it's like to grow up war torn from your country and separated from your father. And that's the first man that's supposed to show you love, ain't it? Your heart's tainted, the you a work of art, your heart's been painted. For me, I had to understand that I need to create my own relationship with God and not go by the outline of what someone had told me God was. Making him my friend, making him someone that when I'm having a good day, just being like, okay, God, I see you doing, I see what you did there. Or having a bad day and saying, you know, I really, I really need you. My life I has to fight. I remember I lost my job in 2016, lost my grandmother, and I ended a, a relationship, um, which was that was very significant to me. But if God got us, then we go be I was looking for work and nothing was coming in. I remember I went into the living room of my apartment and I was just listening to gospel music. I had just come from the grocery store. I just like fell to my knees and I was just crying. I was in tears and I was just like, I don't know what to do. And a week later I got a job. I think it's just that faith, that foundation of faith. And he's always gonna show you signs if you ask him and if you get him. Uh, and when I wake up, I recognize you looking at me for the pay cut. But I'm gonna be looking at you from the face down. I tell my mama I love her, but this is what I like, Lord, no. He still, you know, like understanding and knowing that he says that the church is in you. You are the church. You know, I think we get caught up sometimes in like actually physically going to a building. When I can't sometimes encourage myself, I find. I find it in me to encourage other people around me and that makes me happy and I feel like 
I'm accomplishing something that God has put me on earth to do. We gon' be alright. We gon' be alright. So me personally as a woman, the most important thing to me are like the connections that I make with people, my relationships with people. God is love and his love burns within me. I am the flame.